Well, hello everybody and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So just over about a week ago, I took all my little snapdragon and pansy seedlings that I started from seeds I collected from flowers from my garden last fall, got them going under the grow lights and started transplanting individual seedlings into these 72 cells. And they are really starting to take off and I'm very excited to have such a great crop of flowers that I grew pretty much for free ready to go into my garden in another month or so. So keep watching and I'll show you how I planted these up. And in this video we're also going to do some up potting of all these cuttings of coleuses that I took. These things have some major roots going on them now. I should be able to get at least a dozen or so coleus uh, plants going here in these three inch pots. So check out these little petunia seedlings that I have going here. These are Easy Wave Blue. So if you watch my previous video, I collected these seeds from some petunia plants that I had just taken at the end of the season, cut off some branches, threw them into a paper bag and left them to dry over the winter. So we have some nice sized seedlings here now that are getting, you know, some true leaves. So it's a good time to pull them out thin them out and put them into some bigger cells. So I have this 72 cell tray that I'm going to use because I have um, four colors of petunias and I got two different colors of snapdragons and I want to try and get these 72 cells filled up with all of those seedlings. So you need some kind of little tool like this that you can use to um, make some holes into your cells here so you can easily put the little transplant in there. So I just, even a pencil works, just stick it in the hole and kind of make it as opening as wide as you can. And I've moistened this soil before I put them into the cells. So I'm just going to look for the biggest ones here and see which ones I can easily pull away from the soil without damaging the roots. So as you can see here, I still got some nice set of roots there. There is almost five leaves on this right now. Then you just have to try to gently work it into the hole your tool. Just press down the soil around it. Be careful not to damage the roots but get it in there good enough so it can take hold and keep growing. It's always hard to uh, not save everything that sprouts but you know being that I'm growing all sorts of different vegetables and a variety of flowers indoors. Um, I can only keep so much space for these flowers. So I will likely hang on to this tray of uh, seedlings here for another week or two because I do have room for them still under the grow lights and keep an eye on these ones. If any of them die or don't take off, then I can still have a chance to fill the spaces here. So I got blue wave written on there. I'll stick it at this end and just keep track of each of my rows here as I go along. So the other wave petunia that I got going here, as you can see, the uh, seedlings are not near as big as that other tray of seedlings, but there is a lot of very tiny ones still peeking through the dirt. It may be that I just uh, buried these just a little deeper than the other ones. So I'm just going to leave these under the grow lights like this. So we probably won't, we'll wait another week or so till I get some good sized ones here before potting these up. So here are the white snapdragons. 
And as you can see, we've got really good germination from, from them as well. If you just pull ever so gently, it usually comes out root and all. So these have about four leaves and they're getting quite long and gangly. So I thought maybe I need to get them into some better soil here. So I got these four rows planted up last night and I'm just back here tonight again. I had to make, mix up another batch of starting mix here. I like to sterilize it with boiling water before I use it. You want to make sure that you press this down really good so there's no air pockets and uh, your roots have a good strong hold in there. So I'm just getting some more dirt here ready to do the coral snapdragons. As you can see here, these guys that I planted up last night are still looking really good. They're all looking fairly perky. I have them under the grow lights and I will be using this tray underneath to bottom water them. So, so tonight I'm hoping to get a couple more rows going here. So these are the coral snapdragons. It looks like I have a lot of good healthy seedlings here that I can take from and pot them up. So I'm going to be using these three inch pots that I purchased from the Dollarama store last year. So these are pretty cheap little pots that I'm going to get at least two years use out of buck uh, fifty at Dollarama. So I've only filled about a third of this container with some potting soil. Just going to press it down, set this in here. Then I'm just going to hold the coleus in here and throw some dirt in around it. Make sure you've got well moistened soil because these roots have been sitting in water now for a good month and they really want to get some moisture right away. We don't want to shock them. So there's not much to that. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to keep this coleus plant going in this container until it gets planted outdoors. I'm going to be doing some major cleaning in the garage. I have two big sunny windows in my garage. We have a heated garage. So that's going to make a great area to be able to take a lot of my seedlings once they get going. Take them from under the lights downstairs here, put them in a sunny window and hopefully that's where they will stay until it's time to harden them off and get them ready to, to grow outdoors. Okay, so here is all my coleuses all planted up. I have got about a dozen or so going here now. If you haven't grown coleus before, I really recommend just buying a couple plants, even from the greenhouse, or if you have seeds, try to start them from seed. And add them to your pots with your flowers. They, are, they really fill a pot nicely. They add a whole new kind of uh, dimension of color. These leaves and everything really grow and fill the pot. So. I'm a big fan of coleus, so I hope you give it a try. So I did end up with quite a few extra uh, petunia seedlings that didn't make it into my um, larger seed trays. I may have to plant up a few more. I hate to just toss these. So what I don't use will end up in the compost pile and these flowers will still help make my garden beautiful, but just in a different way. 
So if you haven't already done so, please click on that go to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.